morning. Mrs. Rikta Das, PGT Chemistry from Kendri Vidyalaya, Army Area, Pune. In continuation with the organic reactions, what I was telling you, I'm going to start with the sixth one. Before starting with the sixth one, let me just say the reactions which I have already completed. I completed addition reaction, elimination reaction, ozonolysis. I also completed dehydration. Now in continuation with the oxidation reaction, some more reaction I just like to tell you involving the aromatic ring. For example, if I take phenol, I have written here phenol, phenol on oxidation, I am writing here as one of the strong oxidizing agent, sodium dichromate, I can even take potassium dichromate. In presence of an acid, I can take sulfuric acid, I am going to get a diketone. One of the conversion asked 2010 and 2011, you can see from the structure, it is a diketone. There is a conjugation, here there is a double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single double bond and thus I can call this one as conjugated diketone. This is called as benzoquinone. This conversion has been asked, convert phenol to benzoquinone. I have also written that time one of the oxidizing agent as alkaline KMnO4. I have taken benzene. I am attaching an alkyl group, methyl. This is called as methyl benzene. This can be also called as toline. Either I take methyl benzene or I take toline. Here I am taking another alkyl group, ethyl benzene. This is ethyl benzene. This one is toline. If I react this with alkaline KMnO4, oxidation, alkaline KMnO4, I am going to get benzoic acid. Benzoic acid, whether it is one carbon atom attached, one carbon atom alkyl group attached to the benzene ring or two carbon atom, it can be even three carbon atom. These on undergoes oxidation in presence of alkaline KMnO4 to give benzoic acid. Now, one more reaction, if I take toline, I have taken toline once again. Now, this is undergoing reaction with chromic oxide in presence of, I am writing here a compound, this means the aroma, I hope you are able to make out. Last class I told this, this is acetic anhydride, I am going to get a compound called as benzaldehyde. And now I am going to keep the reactant same and the product same. I am slightly going to change the reagent here. Now here I am going to have uh, the chromic oxide in presence of chromyl chloride. I am getting benzaldehyde. Now this reaction, this reaction of conversion of methyl benzene, common name toline, with chromyl chloride to benzaldehyde is called as Etard's reaction. This is one of the naming reaction. This is Etard's reaction. In this reaction, the further oxidation do not take place. Why? Because there is a non-oxidizable derivative formed as an intermediate. I hope this reaction is clear. Under the oxidation, I have given you a chart. Primary alcohol undergoes oxidation to give rise to an aldehyde, aldehyde to an acid. On that basis, I am supposed to get a benzoic acid here, but further oxidation did not take place. Why? Because of the formation of a non-oxidizable derivative, which is the intermediate in that. I hope all these reactions are clear. Oxidation part is clear. Now let us switch over to the next reaction, reduction. Now next, I am going to start with the next one, the sixth reaction. After oxidation, now let me come to the, the reduction reaction. This is a reduction process. As I have given under each process is some example of some agent like dehydration, dehydrating agent, oxidation, oxidizing agent. Similarly, under reduction, I am giving some examples of reducing agents. So, 
Some of them you have already studied in class 11th. I'm writing one of them as LAH. I hope you are able to make out. This is lithium aluminum hydride. Then you have molecular hydrogen or atomic hydrogen in presence of a catalyst. Catalysts like either platinum or palladium or nickel. NaBH4. Now I have even ethanol in presence of sodium. These are some of the common oxidizing, uh, sorry, reducing agent you will be coming across. As I have given in the chart, 1 degree alcohol and oxidation gives an aldehyde, aldehyde to an acid, just have the reverse of that. Acid to aldehyde, aldehyde to primary alcohol. If this is the case, then if I take a propanoic acid, I am taking here a propanoic acid, this undergoes reduction. Let me just write LAH, lithium aluminum hydride. I am going to get propanal. Propanal on further reduction is going to give me propanol. So this is propanol. So this is propanal. While writing, one should be very very careful with the alphabets. Propanal should not look like as propanol. This is propanoic acid. Now this reaction is reduction. If I just go the backward, that goes as oxidation. What I have told you under the oxidation process. I am taking some more example. 2 degree alcohol on oxidation had given me ketone. Let me just go reverse. So now ketone on reduction is going to give a 2 degree alcohol. So here I am writing a ketone. I have taken the example. Butan to own. This on reduction, let me take some other example. I am taking molecular hydrogen in presence of platinum. Here I am going to get this part, where the keto part is hanging, that part students remember, that part turns out to be OH, a secondary alcohol, CH2, CH3. And so butan 2 on turns out to be butan 2 on. Reduction means removal of oxygen, addition of hydrogen. I have added the hydrogen here. Next, I am taking the another example, CH3CN, IUPAC name, ethane nitrile, another common name I am giving you as acetonitrile, let me write down another common name, methyl cyanide. Now this on reduction gives me what? I hope everyone remembers what is the valency for carbon. The valency for carbon is 4, the valency for nitrogen is 3. Just have to add the hydrogen to the functional group. So this becomes CH3. CN part, let me just split up like this. I am writing it like this. CN was joined together here. I just made it like this. Valency of carbon atom is 4. So 1, 2, and just I am adding the hydrogen here. Valency for nitrogen is 3. So 1 is added. So. And thus I see that a cyanide or a nitrile is converted into a 1 degree amine. This is ethanamine. If a cyanide is converted into an amine, this is 1 degree amine, then what about isocyanide? I hope everyone remembers cyanides and isocyanides are ambident functional group. This is methyl isocyanide, one of the name. Otherwise, we give the name as methyl isonitrile or methyl carbyl amine. This on reduction will give me what? Apply the same concept, just add the hydrogen to the nitrogen and to the carbon atom. Keeping in mind the valences of nitrogen and the hydrogen. I kept the nitrogen here and the carbon here. Valency for nitrogen is 3. So 1, 2, 3. If you find difficult where to put the hydrogen this side or this side, you can keep it like this or you can put a, you can show a bond like this and you can put it on the top. And here one is over and this. And thus you see that an isocyanide on reduction is giving me a 2 degree amine. This is a 2 degree amine. How to give the name for this compound? This is also methanamine, this is also methanamine. Always remember IUPAC nomenclature to be studied every day so that you don't go wrong in naming both the common name as well as the IUPAC name. So this is methanamine. I can take this also methanamine. If I am taking this as a methanamine, then a methyl group is attached. 
So, before that capital N hyphen methyl methanamide. I hope this much part of the reduction is clear. After this, now let me take this compound and let me take a carbonyl compound CH3, C double bond O CH3. I have taken a ketone. Now let me take a, an aliphatic compound. This is an aliphatic, this is an aromatic compound. This has got a, a ring attached to the carbonyl carbon. A ring was not here. The name of this compound is propenone. This is an aliphatic carbonyl compound. The name of this compound is acetophenone. You would have used the name acetophenone in class 11th. Do you remember it? Where did you use the name? One of the naming reactions, Friedel-Crafts acylation. This is acetophenone. Now, if I react this with anhydrous zinc chloride and HCl, I'm reacting this one with anhydrous zinc chloride and HCl. What do I get? This is a ketone. And hence, I expect a ketone to get reduced to a secondary alcohol. I, I would have got a secondary alcohol provided I would have had any one of the reducing agent. In this case, what is happening? As I am teaching you this under reduction, reduction means removal of oxygen and addition of hydrogen. So, what I am going to do is CH3, C, CH3. I am going to remove the oxygen in the form of water. I say I am just writing here as H2 here. Just remove this part. So, this is coming out to be an H2 minus H2. Then only carbon is left. Satisfy the valency for the carbon. Valency for carbon atom is 4. So, 1, 2, and thus I am putting an H2 here. And thus you see that a ketone is getting converted to an alkene. Whereas, I have taught you a ketone undergoes reduction to give a secondary alcohol. I am telling this is a naming reaction. Any naming reaction will have some different type of reagent. That part you must remember. Now, this naming reaction is called as Clemenson's reduction reaction. If this is asked in the examination, you get two naming reactions in the examination, two marks, one mark each. If this is asked, write short note on Clemenson's reduction reaction, half a mark is for the statement and half a mark is for the reaction. How do you write? Convert the reaction in the form of the statement. When a carbonyl compound reacts with anhydrous zinc chloride in presence of HCl, the corresponding alkane is formed. If this is the case, how do I do for this part? Just remove the oxygen. So, this is going to form water molecule. Now, students try. What will be the compound? I have removed the oxygen as water molecules. Only carbon atom is left. Satisfy the valency for carbons, 1, 2, and thus this goes just like this. So, can you name the compound? If CH3 attached to ring is methyl benzene, then this part, ethyl part attached to ring will be called as ethyl benzene. So, both these are examples of Clemenson's reduction reaction. I hope this part is clear. Now, what I will go, I am going to another naming reaction where I am going to keep the reactant and the product same. I am just going to change the reagent. And this is then going to turn out to be a different naming reaction. I will do it for this one first. I am taking this compound. I am taking a carbonyl compound. If I react this one with hydrazine, Hydrazine N2H4. This can be also written, N2H1 can be also written as NH2NH2. I am writing it like this. For a convenience, I am writing it like this NH2NH2. Just think of the first reaction what I taught you under addition reaction. When I started with that organic reaction, I started with addition reaction addition in addition with ammonia in the carbonyl compound. There I taught you all this, where I taught you that zine becomes zone. Now, just remove this oxygen and this hydrogen, see like this. If I remove this, water molecule is removed. 
just couple this reaction with this one, just join it. And I'm going to get a compound like this, CH3, C, you can draw as you have drawn it in the reactant side, a benzene. Now here everything has been removed, so this carbon is going to get attached to the nitrogen. It has to form a double bond as it has to satisfy the valency. After N, I have come to H2. What name can I give to this? I am giving you a hint once again. Zine becomes zone. So, if the name is acetophenone, so here the name of the compound is acetophenone followed by, are you able to make out? Estophenone, this is hydrazine, so this is going to become hydrazone. So, I have got estophenone hydrazone. After this, this will react with this in the presence of glyptal. Just remove here, I have missed one of the nitrogen. I hope it is clear. Hydrazine is N2H4, this is NH2, this is NH2. I am just removing the H2O part. So, this carbon atom is going to get attached to the nitrogen. So, nitrogen and then this N is going to attach to the hydrogen. So, it is like this. Now, once the hydrozone is formed, just remove the nitrogen. So, nitrogen is coming out as a byproduct. Just remove this. If I just remove the nitrogen part, the hydrogen part get attached to the carbon. Hydrogen part is getting attached to the carbon and you are getting the compound as ethyl benzene. Now, this naming reaction, now there will be slight change, this initially when I have taken a carbonyl compound reacted with an anhydrous ZnCl2 and HCl, I was getting the corresponding alkane. I am just changing the reagent and the name also changes, now the name goes as wolf kishner reduction reaction. You should be very careful when this is asked in the examination because in both the naming reaction, the reactant and products are same, the difference lies only in the reagent part. I hope it is clear. So, this one is carbonyl compound reacting with ZnCl2 and HCl alkene. This one is carbonyl compound first reacting with hydrazine so that a corresponding hydrazone derivative is formed reacting with glyptal eliminates H2 and I am getting once again the corresponding alkene. Now, this one more naming reaction.